Moving into our favorite topic on this and the third, which is none other than relationships. What's topping off DC, Dear DC, this week? Okay, so Dear DC, I was interested in an individual. It was known, but we never went out on a date until I met one of their friends where we instantly hit it off like we knew each other before. Mm -hmm. We have better chemistry, and I think that we are awesome. Should I switch my interest over to them? If so, how do I go about without hurting anybody's feelings? Hell yeah, you should switch your interest over. And here's how. <laughs> this is the grown-up way you can do this. Any, meeny, miny, mo, <laughs> catch the tiger by the toe, motherfucker. You do not have any loyalty to somebody yeah. you just met or are dating if you're feeling somebody else. Now, you can either play the little kid role and try to play everybody and keep one a secret from the other without the band, but it sounds like they all roll in the same circles. Yeah. So you might as well be up front. And the sooner the better, in my opinion. Yeah, get because out. don't get too deep because then people are going to be looking like, man, she bouncing or he bouncing from chick to chick mm -hmm. in the same circle. Be like, man, now I express interest. Somebody gave, it, somebody gave me an example like this. They said... Um, uh, how did they articulate? They was like, man, if I go to this uh, restaurant and try to, you know, eat, and they're like, nah, you know, I'm sorry, we, you need reservations to eat here or whatever, we don't have no seats, blah, blah, blah. And then I go to the restaurant next door and I try to eat, and they be like, oh, okay, we can seat you right away. That's just like relationship or hollering at people. It's like, man, if this one is not available, I will go to the next available right next door that's convenient for me, and it's not a shot at the one that wasn't available, I just need to eat. <laughs> Niggas need to eat, B. That's my thing, G. Like, is that not true? I don't know. I'm just saying, man. I, I don't really feel no loyalty to nobody no, that I just... No, not when you just... I like how you look. What? I like yeah. how everybody looks. I do. I he can does. find something beautiful about every single person on earth, G. But that's my God eye. But I think, um, if anything, if it was just one date, yeah, say, hey, let's stay cool, and then I'm going to go holler at your friend. Right. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Yeah. And be upfront with it, man, because that slick shit, that's where you get in trouble. What Agreed. else we got? Okay, as a single person, dear DC, mm -hmm. as a single person, is it best to ask up front someone's relationship status before potentially wasting your time talking to them at a bar or, so, or social gathering? Or should you just proceed until they, until they tell you their status? What say you? So my thing with this is if we're out and we're having, at a social gathering, third Thursdays, right, and we're talking... Just enjoy the conversation Excuse because you me. will blow me Man. asking me my relationship status. <sighs> Clearly, I'm, I'm not interested anymore because, one, I'm just talking to you. We're just right. talking. We're having a good conversation. Now, at the end of the conversation, before mm -hmm. you leave or whatever, mm -hmm. and if you felt the connection and you want to say, hey, you know, then you just say, can I, do you mind if I get your number? And at that point, they'll tell you. Yes, indeed. Yes. No, oh no, so. I, I don't need no friends, or I got, here's or I'm in a IG. relationship. Here's my, here's my IG channel. <laughs> Watch my show. This is the third. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment, share. But Th yeah, this is my thing. I totally agree with you, and I think that me personally, if I was in a relationship, because of my previous relationship experience. I would be like, who sent you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I would feel like it was a setup, and somebody led with so. What's your relationship status? Yeah. I'd be like, man, whose friend are you, man? Yeah. Why are you all on? I'm not even hollering nobody. I'm out working. You know what I'm saying? I would feel that type of way. I would feel attacked. So I would say don't leave with it. Um, I think you'll know. You'll be yeah. able to tell. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't tell, ask uh, towards the end when it's about to say, so what's the next step? Are we keeping in contact? How are we keeping in contact? You know, I, I'm slick with Not slick with it, but um, clever. Okay. I'm clever with it. And I'd be like, man, what's your, uh, what's your guy name again? They'd be like, okay. I ain't got no guy. Ah, yeah. Green light. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be clever. And chicks like clever dudes, yeah. man. Yeah, come on, man. I'm a writer. Yeah, because you, if you pay attention, you'll notice the cleverness. You'll be like, no, this nigga, no. I this ain't mentioned nothing uh, about I my guy. <laughs> I'm just checking. Okay. All right, last but not least in relationships this week, what we got? Dear DC, I'm in my 40s and looking to date a much younger woman. In my 40s. Okay. I would like to know if it's more about the courtship and less about what happens in the bedroom that will keep her coming back for more. <laughs> a younger chick wants the pipe, man. She wants the pipe, and she wants a little bit of cash. You know what I'm <laughs> she would like two things. <laughs> she would like your pin number and your penal code. Okay. I'm just letting you know, man. These young chicks ain't about shit. Ain't going to be about shit until they've been shot a few times, and then they're done with all of that fugazi. No. So I would just say, man, one, why you want to date such a younger chick? I would want to date someone that's my peer in my peer group that still is slugging. 
Can I get a 40-year-old slugger? Why do I need a young chick? Because the slugger going to cook, clean. <laughs> he going to cash that. out that 401k if necessary. Bring the days here. <laughs> and she probably knows exactly how to move and groove in social set. You ain't taking no baby to the gala. <laughs> You can't even go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, well, no. let's, let's be clear, okay? No. So when he say he in his 40s, let's say mid-40s, right. right? Well, he would have said 40. He's in his late 40s, probably. <laughs> and then this when nigga. he say much younger. Much see, sounds like half. So you think he's going back to the 20s? I, th I definitely think he's going back to the 20s. If you're a 40-year-old man and you're dating a 30-year-old woman, that's not much younger. That's younger. Okay. Much okay. younger is two decades. Okay. okay. Excuse me. Yeah, that's. Then that's a bit much. What are you doing? I think the the youngest would be thirty. At at bare minimum thirty. Yeah, at twenties you are. Mm, they, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be her sponsor. Yeah. So uh, if you on that sugar daddy stuff, then go ahead. And if not, then uh, <laughs> you need to you need to go ahead and up up that up that floor, man, and be like thirty or better, and then you won't have these problems. Longer. But I think courtship is cool. I, I do think it's okay to teach a young girl yeah. that this is how it's supposed to be. Yeah. So then that way, after that relationship ends, she knows what she should expect right. from somebody else. But, I mean, if you can't get it up all the time, she'd be all right. And if you, <laughs> if you <laughs> would like to venture out and just, you know, see what's out there and things of that nature, don't ask their age until you smash. <laughs> and then once you find out how young they may be, end everything right then. <laughs> but be careful, because a woman scorned. Oh, my stars. You don't want to play with that. But I'm just saying, man, uh, you know, if she's in the club, she should be at least, you know, whatever. She should be at That's what she's looking for. Make it more transactional, less relationship-based. All right? But that about wraps us up for relationships on this week's episode of This, That, and the Third.